you can't do all of them at the same time. You can't have all the blessings at the same time. You can't have all the good things at the same time. Hey guys, what's up? You're welcome to another episode of the Bed with Benhini podcast. My name is Akusia Benhini. If you're seeing me for the very first time, um, if you're a returning subscriber or listener, thank you so much for always coming back. I love you. <laughs> but last week's episode, I talked about boundaries, everything um, about how to build just basically building healthy boundaries if you don't know what boundaries are or if you basically struggle with you know building boundaries or communicating your boundaries clearly then you definitely need to watch last week's episode that is a good one now in today's episode i'm excited i literally just came up the stairs so let me catch my breath okay now in today's episode i'm actually so excited um, because manifestation is something that i have been doing myself we're talking manifestation and just basically how to effectively manifest the things that you want and i am confident enough to talk about this because this is something that has worked for me in several occasions like in several occasions when i put my mind to it and then when i work towards it trust me that i'm gonna get it just trust me that i'm gonna get it you know so i have been i low-key was scared because i'm like i don't know if i really want to like talk to you guys about this because i don't know like if i'm the right person to be talking about it but then i'm also like well i have used it you know this is something that i have experimented in my life for a number of years and it, it has worked for me at least from like everything that i have used manifestation for has worked for me so i'm like you know what? let me put you guys on okay let me share with you guys the things that i do or the things that you could do um to actually help you manifest your goals and your dreams so let's go okay now if you don't know what manifestation is because i kind of get a, um, a lot of questions about what is spirituality and manifestation i'm not going to go into spirituality but manifestation generally is you know trying to make a reality out of something that is like your goal or something that is your dream at least for me i would say that my big goal right now would be to have a home um and when i say a home like a house that i actually own where i know that this is our home and then where i'm able to like have my kids come in and out like i just that is a big goal for me because it's just a big goal for me so that's something that i'm working towards now that is um manifestation in this aspect would be me envisioning myself in a beautiful um you know multi-family home or just a single family home i don't know but just a cute beautiful family home um with my kids and my husband with a beautiful kitchen and just that nice vibe i'm going to start picturing that i'm going to start um you know pick, putting that picture in my head and then actually you know start working towards it so that is kind of like how manifestation go if that was a good example i'm not so sure i think i'm very bad at giving examples i've come to terms with the fact that i'm not exactly the right person to give you any sort of example because <laughs> now the thing about manifestation um is just that general idea or like the confidence that you have in yourself or you know sometimes when you believe that you can do something or when you believe or at least for me if i believe that i can do something or if my mind tells me that you have the power and the capacity to do this thing trust me the strength will come from nowhere and this comes into play a lot of times when i'm like doing my workouts you know sometimes there's this one workout that you feel like you could never do but then when you put your mind to you're actually able to do it and then you're like oh it's all in my head so that just that belief 
and you know that belief in yourself that you can achieve something or you're worthy of something will push you to work towards that thing will give you the energy that you need to work towards that thing will put you in the right place of mind that you need to be in to accept that thing so it's kind of like that you know just that trust and the confidence that you have in yourself and knowing that um this is something that i am deserving of and this is something that i can work my butt off to achieve but i also have to believe that this is something that is good for me like i have to believe that this is something that i'm worthy of that way you can very much work towards it relentlessly without anything that anybody says or without anything that anything you know without anything stopping you (laughs) you know without anything stopping you that's just what i was trying to say so manifestation generally you know a lot of people i feel like to a lot of people manifestation definitely doesn't make sense how do you expect me to believe something that is not yet there like how do you expect me to see something that is not yet there which also you know is a valid point but then it goes back to me saying that just that belief and that knowing that you're worthy of that thing can make you work towards that thing can give you a whole different um type of energy and mindset to push towards that thing it's like it's played out for me in so many different um areas of my life a typical example for me would would be when i was moving into this apartment and i kept literally kept saying i'm grateful for my new space i'm grateful for my new home i'm grateful for my new apartment even at the time we hadn't started talking um, about this apartment but i believed that i needed to live in my own space you know i needed to have my own little kitchen and my own office like i was manifesting that i believe that that was something that i was worthy of you know so even before we had even spoken to someone about moving or even before we had made preparations to move i started saying that i was grateful for this place i started manifesting um, an apartment and lo and behold in like six months we got the opportunity to move into this apartment it was freshly painted like it's not a new apartment but like you know it was it was definitely something we had prayed for it was something we had waited for the the reason why you it ends up being this is what i manifested is because the way sometimes the thing comes to you it's amazing because you know that you are working towards that thing you know that you're worthy of that thing but you didn't actually think or you didn't maybe feel like the thing was going to come to you in that moment and that's the moment that it's going to come to you and that's you know that's just the good energy and the good vibe around manifestation you need to have that belief in yourself and that you know knowing that you're worthy of that good thing and that's just it just believe in you know that you're worthy of the thing and then work towards the thing make it your everyday reality make it your everyday lifestyle make it the thing that you always say for yourself you know when you're seeing future for yourself you say that thing or that goal that you want to achieve so bad and trust me it works like magic i don't even know how to like scream this into you guys' ears but it works like magic it works like magic it works like magic like i'm looking at the different areas in my life that it has played out for me and it works like magic and i'm gonna go ahead and just share with you guys a few things or a few you know points that you can do to help you also you know just manifest that thing that you're trying to manifest okay let me just get into it the first thing that you want to do is definitely set your goal or set your intention I cannot tell you guys how much manifestation is all about intention, okay? It is all about the intentions that you have. So, if you're the type of person, negative Nancy, doubting Thomas, <laughs> please, then it's not it's not your business because you can't even set the intention. Once you set the intention, you will end up doubting. And that's one thing that you don't want to do. If you set an intention and you push it with good energy, you don't want to doubt and ask questions like, what if I'm not able to get there? What if this doesn't come to me? It's normal. It's definitely, you know, very human to feel like that. Um, even if you don't feel like that, 
then I might question, um, you know, what kind of human you are. Because every human being definitely kind of has um, some sort of fear that we, you know, we put around things. But one thing with manifestation is you need to even have confidence in yourself, okay? And the confidence that you have in yourself and the trust that you have in yourself, you know, just that knowing that you can work towards um, a certain type of goal should let you or should eliminate any kind of doubts that you have in your head. So set the intentions, set that goal, whatever goal you want to set, that's the first thing that you want to do, set that goal and do not doubt, okay? Just don't doubt that a goal is too big. Do not doubt. Now, point number two, um, point number two for me will be when you set the goal, don't micromanage, okay? Don't try to put a time limit to it. Life is really not a competition. There are certain things that, um, you know, you obviously have to achieve at a certain time, but that is not something that you're going to be manifesting because that's something that you're working towards anyway, <laughs> you know? Manifestation is something that, you know, something that you 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 know that you can achieve but in this current moment it looks like it's such a like it's it's a farther away like it's far away from you i'm not even getting my words right but if you get what i'm saying manifestation is just knowing that you're going to get this life or you're going to achieve this goal you just don't know the when the how you know, you might know the how because you're working towards it, but sometimes you don't even know the how. That's the truth. Sometimes there are some of the things that we tend to manifest or we tend to ask or we tend to pray for that we actually don't know how we're going to go about that thing, but we know that this is something that if we had in our lives, it could be very useful, you know? So, um, you want to set the intention one, and then two, you don't want to micromanage because you're not about to micromanage anybody here okay <laughs> hello <laughs> um you also don't want to set a time limit to it because you most likely will be disappointed most very likely will be um almost 100 percent every time that i have set my intentions or i've decided to work towards something or manifest something and i put a time limit to it in my head or i say to myself oh by december sometimes it doesn't happen okay it might happen next march and i'm gonna be like i literally forgot about that thing but i prayed for that i legit prayed for that okay so it's just you know you don't have to micromanage because you don't want to do that but you just want to keep working and keep staying positive now my third point um is always stay grateful okay i am at this point i say that gratitude is my middle name like call me akutia gratitude nyantichi like grateful nyantichi like literally it's my middle name it's a song i sing it's the theme i live by i'm grateful every single second of my life even when i don't know what is going on even when things feel like you know they're not going so well even when i feel like tomorrow i don't know how tomorrow is gonna go or i don't know how this project that is coming up i'm gonna take care of it i'm still gonna be grateful because one thing that you should know is that the current life that you're living or what you have right now is an unsaid prayer okay this life that i at least for me this life that i'm living right now it's an answer prayer i literally prayed for this what a few years ago but you know because sometimes we get so into trying to get to the next goal you really don't think about the fact that this life that you're living or the things that you have are the things that you might have prayed for a few years ago and you know things are still coming so a grateful heart um, is always a magnet that attracts new things bigger things for me i'm grateful every single time like when you ask me how are you i say i'm grateful <laughs> like literally every single time i say i'm grateful like even sometimes when i'm mad i say i'm grateful you know um it's grateful gratitude is literally such a huge tool for me it helps me to stay positive in a lot of areas of my life where i would originally not be so positive um i end up saying i'm grateful instead of being so worried because i'm like you know what i'm grateful because 
at the end of the day, I know I'm going to figure that out, <laughs> you know, just that trust and believe in myself that um, I could pivot and make sure that I'm not being stuck in one area, you know, I'm growing and I'm moving with the times, I always say that, um, just that, you know, just that believe in myself makes me stay grateful, I'm always grateful just because I know um, that um, you know, the universe is going to keep me going. <laughs> the universe is going to keep me pushing. You know, I'm going to keep it kicking. Life is just going to keep going on and I will keep staying grateful. So that's definitely one thing that you want to keep in mind. Always stay grateful, a grateful heart. I'm being American today, very American today. Okay. <laughs> but a grateful heart definitely, um, attracts a lot of blessings and it makes it even easier for you to work towards that intention that you said, that goal that you set, because you're grateful because you know that that thing is yours. You're grateful because you know that you're living that life. Even when you're not living that life, baby girl, let me tell you, it doesn't make sense, but just do it. Just follow these things that I'm telling you. And it works like magic. Like I'm not trying to gatekeep. I'm sharing this with you. And if you're not going to do it and sit down and just be like soapy and sad, no, we're not doing that. Do these things that I'm telling you. Okay. Now, before I go into point number four, I just wanted to say when you're setting your intentions, you want to make sure that you're being clear and precise. Okay. If you want like a Jeep Wrangler, say it as it is said four wheel jeep wrangler with the air conditioner i don't know anything about cars so i can't really go into that but say exactly what you want how you want it okay that's exactly how you want to say it you want to say literally how you want it if you're trying to get ten thousand dollars literally say i want ten thousand dollars don't feel like ten thousand dollars is too big for you no say it as you want it i just wanted to add that to setting your intentions because it definitely um you know helps you to not be all over the place with your goals and sets it helps you to set precise intentions okay if you guys hear anybody in the background it's in from a pair because i'm a mom so hello <laughs> um, but the next point for me will be um, after you do all of these setting your intentions not micromanaging having a grateful heart what you want to do is keep yourself grounded and keep your mind on the task keep your eye on the goal put in the hard work that you need to put in okay you know everything in life definitely deserves or everything in life definitely requires some sort of hard work you need to and that's my belief if you that is just my personal belief i feel like you can't just sit down and pray and ask for things and not actually work towards them i do not believe in that i don't believe that anything can just literally be giving to you okay you have to work towards something but sometimes you can also work towards something and the thing still fails and that's not what we want we want everything that we want everything that we need to help our lives be better when we work at them we want them to be successful and that is where manifestation comes in helping you to be successful at every goal that you're trying to turn into a reality okay and then um, my last but not the least point is always listen to your intuition, okay? Um, when you're on the journey of like working towards that goal or, you know, doing this, listen to your intuition because sometimes I have personally come to find that we can, um, as humans, do certain things to delay our blessings or to delay the things that are supposed to come to us. And that could be maybe a decision that you made along the way that's pushed something forward you know now one thing about your intuition is if you hear this voice in your head and you start to feel like some sort of fear then that is definitely not your intuition that's just all i want to say your intuition never uh, puts you in fear it literally tries to you know save you from something or tries to tell you something but it never should make you feel afraid so whenever you hear a voice in your head 
and that voice suddenly puts this fear in you that is not your intuition that is just you talking to yourself and putting fear into yourself okay so i just wanted to say that listen to your intuition um your intuition (laughs) it's so weird to say that but definitely yes listen to your intuition because nine times out of ten that is always going to be right and then my last point um which is not so much of a last point it's kind of like a bonus um point because i've been saying it all throughout is just know that you're worthy um of the things that you're asking for or the things that or you know the vision and the goal that you set for yourself you need to know that you're worthy um you need to know that you're deserving of all these things and you need to have confidence in yourself okay because like i said knowing that you can achieve a certain type of goal or knowing that you can do something makes it a lot more easier for you to actually do it because just that knowledge and just that belief in yourself makes it a lot more easier for you to get to the goal so believing yourself my love okay yeah uh, it's it's played out in so many areas of my life i've used this to manifest so many things in my life so many so many little little things and huge 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 goals um, and blessings that have come into my life i have always set or spoken life into it before i even came to me i have believed that i could live that life okay i have believed that i could do that thing i have believed that i'm worthy of that thing and then i got that thing so definitely put it to the test if you have any tip that you want to share in the comments below as always definitely always feel free um, to share that comment with us let us know what is that one thing that you do to help you manifest your goal i at this point i feel like i'm the queen manifester because i'm able to speak a lot of life into a lot of things and if i do say so myself because i trust in myself in that regard like i know that if i manifest something and i pull my mind to that thing i'm gonna get it and that's just because i have always trusted in myself to get the thing you know so you need to have that belief in yourself okay and put it to the test try it out let me know how you feel okay let me know if there's anything that works for you but i'm so excited that i've finally um, been able to like share the things that i do to help me manifest because I didn't actually think that there were things that I was doing up until it literally hit me that, oh, this is something that I prayed for. I was in the shower. It was such a light bulb moment. It was such a random thing, you know, and um, we got like message about it. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, this has taken so long. Like it has literally taken almost five years, but we've gotten the result we've gotten the goal we've gotten that thing that we always so prayed for and for me that is it that is literally it it doesn't matter if it takes one year two years five years ten years and i've come to terms with the fact that there are certain things or certain blessings that you know you can't have it all in that same time i watched michelle obama's um interview with oprah and that thing sat with me so well she was saying that there's a lot of blessings or there's a lot of things that you could have or you could be doing um but you can't do all of them at the same time you can't have all the blessings at the same time you can't have all the good things at the same time so relax things are gonna come one after the other and you're going to enjoy them as they follow so um i that's definitely starts with me so well but i don't want to talk too much i hope you guys enjoyed this episode everything um that i do to help me manifest my dream life and i love that for me (laughs) you know and i'm still on a journey of manifesting um my even bigger dream life but you know it starts from here and that is it for me you need to make up the mind you need to put yourself in that mindset and that you know that vibe and knowing that you can achieve something and that you're deserving of something and then you get there so as always i love you guys um for showing up for today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed comment below if you don't have anything to say just comment below leave a heart okay leave a heart hacks 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 to you guys i love you guys so much for always um coming by but subscribe if you haven't already done that and i'll see you guys in next